Hi everyone, I'm JD from Willow Bound Journals. Welcome back to my channel. This is my reflections journal for the reflections journaling course that I'm teaching. And I thought I'd give you a sneak peek. This was also a video request. And I'm going to do a, a page spread in my reflections journal showing how I do one of the prompts for the second day actually, which is word for the year. And I thought I'd do this video because right back at the start of the year, I did a junk journal with me episode talking about my word for the year and every year this is something that I like to do is just choose a word for the year and document it in my journal and this time um, I like looking back at the year too and looking at just reflecting on is that still my word for the year how did that word guide me where did I see that word in action throughout the year and do I have a different word and that will help me also go into next year and start thinking about what is my word for next year and so I will chat about what my word was for this year. I'll give a recap of that. And then I'll talk about my some other words that have come up for me this year. And I'll also just talk through my process um, and what I'm doing here, choosing some ephemera from this ephemera folder that I got from the lovely Teal and Tattered. She is both on Etsy and on YouTube. So definitely search for that Teal and Tattered. She's one of my favorites and she's very talented. Um, and then I'm getting this Bible page here because I'm tying this also into my scripture for the year. So whenever I choose a word for the year, I like also finding a scripture that goes with it. And um, yeah, just going to highlight my one of my other words that came up for me this year. But yeah, I hope you enjoy this journaling session and I hope this gives you a little taste of what it's like for the Reflections journaling course where there are prompts throughout the month and prompts to help us reflect on the year and find the gold in the year, find the moments of joy, find the moments of love, find the moments of friendship and just document the events of the year, places that we might have discovered or places that were meaningful to us, the people who are meaningful to us and just documenting our memories and our special moments that came throughout this year and taking in gratitude so we can go into 2022 um, taking in gratitude from all that we've learned and all that we've taken from this year, all the beauty that we can then take into next year. And we can end this year well before we start next year well. So yeah, um, I'll, yeah, like I said, I'll leave the link below to that in the description box. And there's also links to my other courses if you were aware of Willow Journal Course, Art Journal Course and the Anchor Journal Course. They're all starting again this month so I always want to put out a video at the start so that people can sign up at the start of the month if they want and then they can go at their own pace and yeah so let me talk about this page spread I'm just going to put the um, bible page to start us off with and then I've got the word I'm sorry a journal card with a butterfly there and I write the word trust in that spot there so that was my word for the year going into this year trust there was a lot of unknowns this year. I didn't even know where I was going to live. I had to move house in January and I didn't know where I was going to live. I didn't know which state I would live in, uh, let alone which house I was going to live in. Everything turned out really well. God provided the way. Um, and that's what the word for the year was all about trust, that he would, um, he would find a house for me. He would find... Um, just everything would go into place in the right timing and um, yeah just a lot of unknowns this year that was one of the biggest ones but that he would uh, go before me and lay down, down the path for me and everything would just be um, the right path if that makes sense and the right decisions would be made and yeah that I definitely saw that this year and um, very very thankful for that and there's yet yeah, been quite a quite significant changes that have happened this year so um yeah just with all of that knowing that god is trustworthy he is dependable he's reliable he cares for us he loves us he has the most amazing plan for us and the perfect timing and we can trust him and i find that especially in the times where we're in the unknown where we might be in the chaos where we might be in the darkness um, those are the times where we especially learn how trustworthy he is and how much we can trust him. So yeah, that's that first word for the year. And the scripture I had for that to go with that was 
Proverbs 3, 5 to 6. Trust the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. Seek his will in all you do and he will direct your path. And then going through this year, other words came up. So um, another word that's come up for me is the word strength. And you might have kind of journeyed with with me in that area this year with the junk journal with me episodes, the faith junk journal episodes that I put out every Sunday. And you have, might have noticed that, yeah, I've kind of captured a lot of scriptures that have to do with strength. And this is one that really spoke to me. This one kind of sums up the year for me. Um, and it's, ooh, what is it? Ephesians 3, 16 to 21. I pray that from his glorious unlimited resources, he will empower you with inner strength through his spirit. Then Christ will make his home in your hearts as you trust in him. Your roots will grow down into God's love and keep you strong. And may you have the power to understand, as all God's people should, how wide, how long, how high and how deep his love is. May you experience the love of Christ that was too great to understand fully. Then you will be made complete with all the fullness of life and power that comes from God. Now all glory to God who is able through his mighty power to work within us to accomplish infinitely more than we might ask or think. Glory to him in the church and in Jesus, in Christ Jesus through all generations forever and ever. Amen. So it just sums up so much about learning about his strength, going through trials and the unknown and having to trust builds up your strength. And it comes from him. It only comes from God. He is the source of my strength. And that when he is at home in our hearts, <coughs> Um, we can trust in him and our roots will grow down deep into his love and we will, it will keep us strong. And so these words of like love and roots and strength and trust, it's all here, all here. Those words have all been significant to me this year. And um, you might have yeah, seen that journey in my faith journal episodes. Just those words keep coming up, love and roots and growing. And even if you've done um, some of the journaling courses with me, you will have no, known, followed my journey as well with that, about letting your roots grow deep and going back to your roots first of all, finding your roots. And then it's only when we can have our roots that we're planted and then we can grow and then we can bloom and then we can blossom. And so this all ties in together and that we need our roots to be strong and that strength comes from those roots and that's how we can grow and then that's how we can flourish and oh it's all tied in (laughs) and just to you know trust the process trust the journey and um yeah it's a beautiful journey it's not always easy (laughs) um but it's it's a beautiful journey and um it's only through that journey through trials and hardships and hard times that we learn the strength and the and that we can grow and that we can learn that trust and learn how loved we are and then that's from that journey that's how we get to blossom that's how we get to bloom and that's how we get to flourish and that's how we get to see all of that beauty oh my cat wants to come in and i'm using these washi tapes from this washi dispenser from stationary pal i'll leave a link also to stationary pal website and discount code and they've got some amazing things and really really cool and my cat just wants to be in the way and yeah i love using these washi tapes just to add a bit of decoration to the page and tie things in together (laughs) look at my gorgeous cat (laughs) i love that he wants to be part of my videos anyway so i hope that gives you a little taste and i hope you enjoyed this video and um i just hope these prompts help you to reflect on the year and to have it all in one place just all your memories from the year and everything documented in one journal so I'll leave you with that and I hope you have fun journaling and I'll see you in the next video. A special thank you to my beautiful patrons who supported me in November. Without you guys, I cannot do what I do, uh, making these videos and teaching journaling courses, making journals and sharing journaling inspiration. So a huge thank you from the bottom of my heart to all of you guys. Um, You are helping the mission of our Willowbound Journals, which is to bring light and life into people's lives through creativity, beauty, and storytelling and inspiration. So if you would like to become a patron in December, I would be so, so appreciative. I'll leave the link below to that in the description box. 
And there's also links to my Etsy shop and my Instagram, the Facebook community page, my personal Facebook business page, and also links to my journaling courses. Thank you so much for being here and joining me on this amazing journey. And may you journal your life because your stories matter.